Hi, in this video, we will look at the basics of transforming a 3D object. There are three ways that you can transform a 3D object. You can move an object in the 3D world, you can rotate an object, and you can scale a 3D object. The only objects that can't be scaled is the camera and the lamp. So now I want to select the cube by hovering my mouse over the cube and right clicking. So we're going to now carry out the operations of moving, rotating and scaling. So to move an object, all you have to do is press the G key. So once you've pressed G, then you can pretty much move your mouse and drop your object wherever you like. So I'm just going to select there. The G key stands for grab. Alternatively, if you don't like to use uh, the G key and you don't, you're not a fan of shortcut keys, you can just press translate in the side uh, toolbar here. And that will also allow you to move the 3D object. But I find this a little bit harder to work with, so I prefer pressing G. To rotate an object, press R and then rotate as much as you like. To scale an object, press S and then Move your mouse in and out oh, and then left click to end the operation you can either uh, you can either left click or hit enter to complete the operation they both do the same thing i can also change the location um, over here as well in the properties window you don't have to do it always in the 3d viewport um, but it's just a lot quicker to work in the 3d viewport because it, it just feels a lot more natural to us as 3D artists. So let's just say I want to rotate on the z-axis. The z-axis is the vertical axis. So um, I want it to spin around the z-axis. So in the rotation part of the properties window in the object data tab, I left click and then drag uh, left or right. And that will pretty much do the same thing as um, pretty much rotating around the z-axis. So we can obviously do a bit more than that. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo the uh, location, rotation and scale. So to do so, I'm going to press Alt G, which undoes the location, Alt R, which undoes the rotation and Alt S, which undoes the scale. So that's, it's pretty easy to remember. G, R, S will uh, transform the location, rotation, and scale respectively. And Alt-G, Alt-R, Alt-S will undo the location, rotation and scale respectively. But obviously we can do a bit more than that. So let's just say I want to move my cube three spaces to the right of the Y axis. So that's the green axis. Um, I can either press G and then uh, try to sort of nudge uh, three axes and then um, sort of say, yeah, that's around three without having to touch uh, this, of course or just press Alt G again. Um, I can obviously move, I can type in here directly by left click and then just typing in three. That's also fair enough. Um, or I can just press G and then three, which moves it on the X axis, but then make, and then press Y, which will restrict it to the Y axis. That's pretty much the same thing. I can also press G Y minus three, which will bring it back to the origin again. So I can we can do many, many different things. I can create many different uh, combinations like SX5 will scale it on the X axis five times. Right click will undo the operation um, or say GX6 will move it on the X axis six units. And if I left click, it'll um, carry through the operation or if I right click, it'll undo that operation. And there's also more than that. If you want to actually move only on the y-axis, you don't want to move anywhere else, you can left click and then drag the green arrow, which will now restrict it to the y-axis, and then you can drop it wherever you want. So if I wanted to restrict it to uh, three units, there is a, you can select that and then press control, which will move it uh, exactly one unit apart. Alternatively, Instead of left clicking and dragging the green arrow, you can just press G, Y, which means it will now move, but restrict to the Y axis. Same goes for any other operation. So if you want to scale only on the 
uh, y-axis again, so s, y. This will only scale on the y-axis. So uh, grab z will only restrict it to the z-axis. And then either left-click to put it there, or grab z. Uh, if you don't like it, right-click to undo. You can also do the opposite. So for example, you can say, I don't want the z-axis, but I want all other axes. So to do that, you can say, say for example, let's just say scale, but not on the z-axis. So shift z. So now it will scale on the x and y axes, but not the z axis. And this works on any type of operation, whether it be location, rotation, scale, whether it be G, R, or S. So just have to remember those shortcut keys, G, R, S. And if you, don't, if you can't remember it, you can always refer to using the side toolbars here, if you're not a shortcut key fan. But again, it's always better to use the shortcut keys because you just, you just tend to work a lot faster with shortcut keys. Trust me, it's a big time saver, especially when you're working on film projects and things like that. You can save a whole heap of time if you know the right shortcut keys. It just tends to come secondhand to you once you start actually doing some serious stuff. So uh, I seriously recommend you learn some basic shortcut keys at least. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about transforming 3D objects. Um, you can do the same with cameras, so rotate, say, Z which will now rotate the camera on the z-axis. And I can even do it while in camera view. So R, Z. So you can see, in, um, it sort of looks like I'm uh, panning the camera left and right. There's, there's also another operation where you can rotate uh, on its own axes. So um, its own local axes. So what that means is, this axis, the z-axis, is pointing up, exactly up. But that is not the axis of the camera. The natural axis of the camera, if I just go Alt R, is there. So the Z axis, in fact, is now pointing up for the camera, but the way it was before, the Z axis is probably pointing a little bit in this direction. This is called the local axis of the object. So if you want to rotate the camera on its local axis, then you press the axis twice. What that means is, say I press R, so that will now rotate, and then X. Uh, you'll notice that if I go in the camera view, Rx, it's rotating odd. That's because it's, it's actually rotating based on the world axis. And the camera is rotated a little bit differently to that. So we're going to rotate it now on the camera's axis. So to do so, press R, X, and then X again. So now it's rotating on the camera's axis. So if I look at from the outside view, Rx, that's the world axis and then X again, which is now the camera's axis. So as you can see, you can, um, just by pressing it twice, you can control what type of axis you want to move, rotate, and scale. So for example, G, Z, will move it up and down because that's on the world axis. Z again will now move it, uh, well, it will appear like it's zooming in and out because that's based on the camera's axis. As, as, I, as we've discussed before, the z-axis is pointing away from the camera. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say on that. Uh, I hope this video has been useful to you and that uh, you now have the basics of transforming your objects. So just to summarize, you can move, you can rotate, you can scale your three objects. You can also control the axis upon which it moves, rotates and scales. Uh, you can also control the coordinates and things like that. So when, if I press G, X, 1.7, it moves 1.7 units on the Y axis. G, Y, minus 2.5, moves it uh, 2.5 units to the left of the Y axis. So there are many different things you can play around with this. I suggest you spend a bit of time moving objects around and seeing how it works in the 3D viewport and observing the coordinates as well. Because uh, you will probably most likely be using this a lot, especially if you're doing 3D modeling. Spend a bit of time with this and I hope this video has been useful to you and I hope to see you in the next video.